The two main algorithm in the field of supervised machine learning is classification and regression. So number one is classification and the second one is regression. This is all is there in the field of supervised machine learning. Now classification answers as the question in the form of yes or no. For example, if a customer has taken loan from a bank, so whether that customer would pay back the bank loan or not that answer could be in yes or no okay whether a tumor become a cancer that could be answered in yes or no whether an email is a spam so this could be answered in yes or no so these kind of uh, problems could be solved using classification algorithm whereas regression answers as the question in the form of how much so classification is either yes or no okay and regression is how much for example, how much would be my revenue of the company for uh, of my company for the year 2021? How much would be the sales of a particular product? How much would be the price of a house that I want to buy? So these kind of questions uh, which ask how much could be answered using regression. Now when we spoke about the price of a house, let's try to leverage the concept of linear regression with respect to price of a house according to its size. So I'm sure that you must have thought of buying some house in your life. Let me clear this and draw something with respect to some axis. So I have two axis. One is the vertical, other is horizontal. Let's say horizontal represents the price of the house. Sorry, size of the house and vertical represents the price of the house. Okay. So if there is a small house, the price would also be a small. So that data would be somewhere in this. Uh, area in the plane okay if the size is big so it is far along the x-axis so if the size is big the price would also be big so it is far along this y-axis and that data would be somewhere here in this plane okay now let me uh, ask you that i want to buy a house which is this big in size kind of medium sized house okay what would be the price of this kind of house okay so in order to solve it, we need to have some previous data, some previous value of the houses which has been sold. Okay. So let's say these are my previous data, which is available with me. And based on this data, I can predict the size of the house, which I price of the house, which I want to buy. Okay. If you see this graph, this data plotting here carefully, you can think of this as in a straight line where you can draw a straight line between these points okay so let me draw this straight line okay and in any time if you have this kind of plotting which looks like this you can draw a straight line and you can have some rough estimation about your uh, some business uh, case which you want to do prediction or as some kind of analysis in this case we have given the size we have got the size of the house and we want to predict the price of the house okay now since we drawn a straight line let's talk more about that and if you remember the equation of a straight line from high school what is that it is y equal to m x plus c okay now what is m here what is x what is c what is y so let's draw the axis again and if you remember this x axis is the uh, size of the house and this y axis is the price of the house right so y here is equal to equal to price okay and this is dependent variable why it is dependent because the price of the house is dependent on the size of the house which is x here and size as i said that if size increases the price also increases so the y is a dependent variable because it is dependent on the size of the house but size of the house is independent variable since it doesn't depend on anything 
do you think that the size of house depend on something no so the size is uh, independent okay so this is also called independent variable okay so this is the kind of concept for dependent and independent variable now if i draw this straight line this is the equation of a straight line y equal to mx plus c it is fa fairly clear that what is y and what is x how about uh, uh, c and m here so m is called slope of the line okay or gradient of the line there are so many names for it or tangent of the line and how do we define it how do we define it it is actually the per unit increase uh, of something it is measurement of per unit increase i will say so let's say if the size of house is increasing from this to this okay so horizontally it is increasing here to here now how much would be increase in my price so the vertical thing is price so vertically this would increase like this correct so uh, repeat it again if the size is going from here to here i can see the line is increasing this much so that is kind of this is a rise rise because this is uh, vertical and this is run run because this is horizontal so if size is increasing this much the price is increasing this much and that is how we define the slope of our line which is rise versus run okay if you see this is also tangent of line because because tangent which is tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base okay so here this is perpendicular and this is base and this is how we measure the tangent of the line and that is how we defined m here so m is tangent now c is fairly simple c is the point where our line intersect the y axis so this distance this the distance of this point where our line intersect the x axis from origin is called c okay so this is the whole concept about a linear regression and it is about a straight line drawing a base fit a straight line among some points okay so let me draw the points again here we have some points okay and our whole goal in linear regression is drawing a best fit line between these points so that we can have a best estimate for something but how do we know that which line is best line maybe i can draw this line or i can even draw this line or this line so there could be so many lines that could be drawn between these points so how do i know that which line is my best fit line well we'll talk about that in our next video see you soon